story. Sunday night, Chicago to Louisville, overbooked. United Airlines offers money to folks who give up their seats, no takers. Then the cops come on board and remove a guy by force. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. No! Joining us, I shouldn't be laughing, but it's just so bizarre. Joining us from the Fox News room here in the building in New York, Fox News correspondent Rob Schmidt. So, why did that guy, after all the 100 people on the plane, more than that, why did they pick that guy to drag him off? Well, they, they, they picked four people, and they say it's a random selection, Bill, is how it works. But, you know, just to elaborate a little bit on what's going to be, no doubt, a PR disaster for United Airlines, I mean, that video... Uh, it's just shocking when you see it. This is a paying customer on United Airlines, uh, and they overbook them, and the, and the airlines are allowed to overbook these flights. They do it so that they can get them as full as they can to make as much money as they can, and they're legally allowed to do so. Uh, but they offer that money, like you said, they start with like a couple hundred bucks, and they raise it all the way up to about $800, which is what they did on this flight. If they get no takers at that point, they don't want to pay any more money, so they just randomly select people to get off the flight. Well, what do you now, mean randomly select? They, 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 they put they, the seat number in a half? I guess. That's what they say. They say it's a random selection. So they, they don't got. explain. We don't know how this guy got picked out of all the people on there. Um, there were they, four people. From what I understand, there were four people that got booted off. Three of them walked yeah. off the plane. Okay. Three got off. But this guy wouldn't, so the police come on and they drag him off in this crazy scene. Yeah. Okay. But we don't know what the random seat number or whatever, why these people were picked. United we, Airlines hasn't explained They that. haven't explained that yet. Right now they're probably trying to figure out how in the world they're going to deal with this situation because this video is absolutely sure. ridiculous absolutely. to watch. Right. But they say it's a random thing. This guy didn't want to get off the plane. The passengers on the plane that posted the video said he was a doctor. That he well, needed to get that, back. I mean, look, and nobody wants to, you know, he'd have to stay, he would have had to stay overnight in Chicago. He absolutely right. might have had commitments to his family or to, or you know, to his patients. Think, right. But, all right, it, it's, it's a confusing situation because we don't know what the criteria yeah. are to remove people from the plane when it's overbooked and nobody volunteers. But, the, but it, the interesting thing is that they offered, what, $800? I mean, at well, some I mean, point, somebody's going to take that money. So you get up to $1,500, $2,000? Nobody wanted to stay in Chicago overnight. You somebody would have stayed for some amount of money. It would have been a lot easier than this. Yeah, uh, you have to a couple that. grand maybe, but uh, yeah. all right. All right, Rob, thank you. And joining us now from Sarasota, Florida, Paul Hudson, president of FlyersRights.org. Do you know what the, what the random thing is, how they get... Uh, a seat number to remove somebody uh, if they can't get volunteers? Well, there have been reports that uh, they base it on uh, whether you're a late flyer or uh, the order that people checked in for the flight. So if you're last, you get booted? Well, that's, that's speculation because the airlines essentially have carte blanche to do this. And uh, I'm not sure whether this flight was overbooked. It appears that it was full and then they needed to ferry some crew members and they didn't have any seats because they'd fully booked it and so they threw off some passengers. All right, so they but had it, to get it's some... It's obviously wrong what happened. Right, they had to get some United Airline personnel from Chicago to Louisville for, you know, probably another flight or whatever. They had to get them there. And so they asked for volunteers and obviously um, this guy didn't volunteer. Um, but federal law gives the airlines almost complete power over the consumer, even if you buy a ticket. Isn't that correct? They, they do. And most people don't realize that when you get on an airplane, you give up many of your constitutional rights. You have to obey the, the requests of the flight crew, and then you can file your complaints and your claims after the fact. However, here it was so extreme and uh, the, the, whether excessive force was used by the police, I, I don't uh, make a judge of that, but this is, this is way beyond anything that, that should happen. Have you ever and seen the airline anything like this before? Had many ways to get around this. Have, all right, I'll, we'll get to that in a moment, but have you ever seen anything like this before? I never saw anything like that before. Not, not for uh, a simple uh, overbooking situation. Yeah, no. I, I've never seen it. Okay, so you say, 
that something else could have happened to avoid the guy being dragged and we're seeing his stomach. And I don't want to see the video again. Now, you, we don't have to show us. We got it. Everybody's got it. Um, what was